In this movie we're going to look at the symbol browser, how you can customize it and how you can create your own custom symbols. So the symbol browser is available in all drawing views and it's a tab that lives behind the product browser. The purpose of the symbol browser is to add graphical elements into your drawing that don't represent products in your system. So these might be things like architectural features, doors, windows, furniture, labels, or anything else that you want to appear in a drawing but you don't want to appear in your equipment list. Now under the StarDraw online symbols library we have a collection of folders like electrical fixtures, lighting symbols, security symbols, shapes and the like, but you might want to add your own custom symbols libraries. Now the symbol browser supports any file in DWG, DXF, SO1 or image formats, including PNG, JPEG, GIF, BMP, and the rest. So to add your own custom folder into the symbol browser, it's a question of personalization. So go to the Tools menu, select Personalization, and go to the Symbol Directories folder. Now I can add a new folder. Before we do that, I'm just going to bring up Windows Explorer, and you can see that on my C drive, I have a folder called Symbols, which contains subfolders. Iconic Symbols, which are image-based symbols. A Plan View folder, which has a collection of Symbols of Doors in SO1 format. Symbols of Tables in DWG format. And Symbols of Vehicles, also in DWG format. So let's add that folder into my list of Symbol directories. So we go to this PC, Drive C, Symbols. Now your folder can be anywhere you want, anywhere on your local hard drive, anywhere on a network drive. And now that we've added the Symbols folder into the personalization dialog, you can also see that it appears in the Symbol browser. So now I can just expand this Symbols folder and go, for example, to my Plan View folder and let's choose a table. So these are all thumbnail previews of the table symbols and I might want to simply drag one into my drawing like so. Maybe we can drag these two seat tables into these small rooms here. I could also use some more complex symbols. So these are symbols of cars. Just drag those in and again these fully respect the DWG source material. So, how can I create my own custom symbols? Well, you can save any drawing as a symbol if you save it into a symbol directory. So let's open up a drawing which contains a collection of sofas. So this might have come from a DWG file or a DXF file, or it might be any kind of drawing that you have access to. So let's take this sofa and copy it and then we'll add a new drawing and paste that sofa into the drawing. Now if I just export this drawing as for example a DWG file I can put it into one of those custom folders. I'm going to call it a corner sofa. specify the unit and then when I go back to my plan view drawing and go to the plan view folder there's my new custom symbol and I can drag that in and use it in any other drawings that I want in the future. So to summarize the symbol browser can be used to add graphical elements to any drawing it supports DWG files, DXF files, SO1 files, and all image formats, including PNG, JPEG, GIF, and BMP. And you can customize the symbol browser by adding your own symbol folders and save drawings into those folders to create your own custom symbols. Thank you for watching.